Hi guys, welcome back to more Palmer from the Ashes on the Force Nights YouTube channel, continuing the Palmer series on Football Manager 2016. And in today's video, we have two more games for you. We're now into October. As I said, I'm going to try to update it's about once a month. And today, we're on October 4th. Today's games, I will have Romagna Centro, who are, are not doing very well in the league. In fact, they have yet to record a win. They've only got one draw in six games. And Kologesi who are up in 7th with uh, 3 wins and 3 defeats. We are in 3rd with 4 wins, 2 draws and 1 loss. 0 losses, sorry, we're un unbeaten. Last time we didn't go too well, we didn't actually score a goal in either of our games. We had a 0-0 draw against uh, Del Sorovigo, who are a place below us in 4th place. Uh, their goal difference is a bit worse. And we went out of the uh, Coppa Italia at the very first hurdle for us, the second round. Uh, lost 1-0 there. Uh, but that was... Deemed unimportant, so that's not too bothered. We literally just have one competition to focus on, that's Serie D. They want promotion, and we're going to get it. Oscar, and I played five games, and I didn't lose any of them. We had four wins, and we had one draw. And, you know, it's, it's going much, much better now. I think the players are starting to learn our formation, and learn our um, our style of play, and learn our tactics. So, you know, we're starting to score goals, which is good. Some games, you know, we have won, but we've sort of scraped it. For example, against Villafranca, Veronese. It was 0-0 for a lot of the game. Uh, the goal came in the 91st minute through Matteo Guazzo, his uh, first goal of the season, opening in his account. It was a pretty even game. They had a lot of um, possession, did uh, Villafranca, but, you know, we didn't do too badly. We had a couple of shots on target. Apart from that, we didn't really produce a lot, as you can see. Didn't really go very well. The strikers, like Musetti, didn't do, do too well. Melandri. So, yeah, it wasn't really... It, was a, it wasn't terrible, but it was a win, so I'll take it. Uh, then we beat Lineago, who we were going to face enough. Well, second live combat that was postponed because of the cup game. And we won this 2-0. Um, very comfortable performance. Uh, we had more possession. They only had one shot on target. And, you know, we did pretty well in this one. And Barai scored in the 10th minute. And Guazzo got another goal on the 38th minute. And even Barai's been playing very well. I've been playing him as left winger as an inside forward a bit further up. And he's been doing very, very well. So, uh, as you can see, he's got two goals and five. And he's averaging 7.47. So, he's doing very well. And I'm very happy with that. Then we had a 1-1 draw against uh, Alto Vicentino. Uh, I might have said that right, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Guazzo scored again in this one, third game in a row. And Falconieri scored for them in the 78th minute with the equaliser. Carapi suffered an injury on the 22nd minute. He had to come off and he is going to be out for a while. He's got a knee ligaments injury. He's out for six weeks at least still. So that's a bad one. And yeah, that's a shame because he, he was playing quite well. So it's a shame to lose him. Then we had a 3-0 win. This was at home against Samaretsi. Samaretsi. Uh, Barai scoring in the third minute. Uh, Guazzo converted a penalty in first half injury time. And Musetti got a third goal in the 84th minute. Rivas came off on the 52nd minute. And he's got a dislocated shoulder. He's out for two months. That's not good. And the final game was away against Len Lenti Johnny. 1-0 win. Again, it was an injury time when at Melandri, 91st minute. And it was a long time coming. We had a lot of shots in this one. They had a bit more of the ball, did Linty Johnny. But we got the winner late on. Uh, six shots on target. You know, apart from that, didn't really do a lot. Um, Missetti didn't do too well. And he played a lot of the game with an injury as well. He had a he head injury, but we kept him on for a while. And he did come off eventually. And he is still available to play, but he's on the bench for today's game. So that brings us to uh, the game here, away against Romania Centro, who, as I've said, are winless at the moment. So, match preview. I've already gone ahead and picked a team. Looks like they're going with a 5-3-2. This is the team we're going with, because um, we have a lot of issues at right wing. I've had to put Melandri out to the right, and um, because uh, Massetti isn't really fully fit because of his uh, head injury. I've had to go with one striker up front, but the team looks pretty good, and they're competent with the, um, with the tactics, so it's not too bad. At least it's not awkward. So Stojanovic playing in goal, Alborno on the left, Lucarelli and Saporetti the uh, centre backs. But I'm just going to swap those around because Saporetti's the left footed, I think. Uh, Aguay, yeah, there we go. Aguay, Botta and Milieta, the uh, the two people in midfield. Botta doing very well, as I said, he was one of our better signings um, pre-season, so that's pretty good. Uh, Barai inside forward on the left, been our best player so far. Malandri playing on the right wing as a wing support. Not very familiar there, but we need someone out on that right wing and we don't really have anyone. Molinaro playing in the hole as an advanced playmaker and Guazzo up front. Uh, I'm going to make him a target man on support. Uh, run control structures. Instructions are these. We're playing slightly higher. Uh, staying on our feet, retaining possession. And we're going to look for the overlap and work the ball into the box. Let's submit the team. 
Uh, we've been on a good run lately, so go out there and impress me. We are unbeaten in the league, so we're just going to push on and see how we do. Seriously? Okay. <laughs> there was not a single highlight in that first half. Literally no football at all, apart from the first 10 seconds. We can still win this. Right. Can we see some football in the second half, please? Nothing happened there. Literally nothing. Literally the first 10 seconds, and then it ended, and that was it. So good. Exactly the same thing's going to happen. Oh, here we go. We've got a corner here. First real action of the game, and we've won a penalty. Um, I don't know if it was a handball or a foul. Galassi's been booked, and uh, the number 11 here, who I think is Melandri, is going to take it. No, it's Guazzo, I apologise. And he goes left, he scores, that is his fifth goal of the season. Good. Here we go, we will see the penalty again here. Guazzo goes left, keeper went the right way, but did not get to it. And Guazzo has put us 1-0 up with a 50 minutes played. Uh, another highlight here, Aguay is on the ball uh, near our corner. 56 minutes played. Romania not really been in the game, they've not had as much of the ball as us, and they've only had two shots, neither of them hitting the target. And uh, Melandri is on the ball here, finds Botta in space. He's got people to the left of him, and Baronio has brought him down there, and he's going to be a sending off here. First red card that I've seen so far. Baronio is off with the second booking, and uh, uh, Romania are down to 10. Molinaro is now injured. I'm going to take him off. We're going to bring on uh, Juan Antonio. Literally, the only person that we can put on in this place is Koliapko, because we don't have another round 19 on the on there. So we're going to have to play with five at the back. <laughs> Literally nothing else we can do. Melandri to Milieta. Here's Aguay. Teasing maybe a second goal here. Goazzo, the shot was saved by the goalkeeper uh, Bissi. But with 66 minutes played here, we are well on top. And we're having more shots, we've got more possession, we're passing very well. Going well so far. Uh, free kick here by Barai. Saporetti with a header, and it's a goal for Lorenzo Saporetti, the uh, the uh, left back, who's playing as a centre back today, has uh, put us two 0 up with a good header here. Bro great free kick by uh, Barai, and Saporetti was first up. He beat Araga Aragoni to the header, and he put two 0 up there. So that, now that's happened. Feel like I can sort of make a couple of changes. Um, I'm not going to play Musetti because I'm worried. So I'm going to bring on, right, I'm going to move Saporetti to the left. And I'm going to bring on Michael Benassi. He hasn't played very much, but he's going to get a game here. Last 10 minutes. Stojanovic goal kick. Uh, headed by Aragoni, but only as far as Botta. Here's Alborno. Back to Botta. Saporetti moving forward here. Can he get a cross in? Pulls it back to Alborno. Here's Botta. To Guazzo. And Guazzo has scored 3-0. And it looks like this team are actually... Get into grips with our style of play now. And that's put us on top with um, 17 points from 7 games. Goal difference of 10. We're where we should be and that's at the top. Possibly a fourth here. Sparrow Spadaro though blocks the ball. But full time imminent. There it is. 3-0 win away from home. Uh, Romania Central never in the game really. That was a good win. Okay, my battery is down to 5% so I can no longer... Uh, record my face but I'll charge it in between the games so I'll have it for the second half uh, so it's a 3-0 win um, Milanaro is uh, injured only a dead leg though so he's only going to miss a few game, few days uh, he will miss the Corrigisi game though so that's a pain um, still unbeaten yeah Zekin is back in full training though so that's a good sign he's a very versatile midfield as you can see can play down the middle can play on the left so he's back that's good uh, and I'll join you uh, very shortly for the Kurogesi game where I'll, I'll have charged my camera a bit. Only on my phone. It's my phone that's the camera. I, iPhone 6. I'm still looking at it, but I'm not recording my face. <laughs> still looking at it. Um, yeah, uh, I'll join you very shortly for the uh, the second game of today's episode. Yeah, the camera's back. I put it on charge for a bit, so it should manage to last the rest of the video now. Uh, and we're on the Kurogesi game today. Uh, team, I've gone for. I'll show you. Uh, I've had to change it around a little bit to adhere with the rules because, again, we have injuries. So, um, this is what we're going with. Uh, so, it's a 4-2-4, four, four, essentially. So, Janovic in goal. Albuano, Lucarelli, Koliatko, the under-18 here, because uh, we lost uh, Karapi last time, and he was part of that. 
Sorry, Molinaro, we lost. So and he was part of that. He was under under eighteen. So the only ones we have left that can play are Kliatko or the other goalkeeper. And Stojanovic is doing well at the moment, so we don't want to I don't want to mess that up. Salbono, so Lucarelli, Kliatko and Aguay are the back four. Rodriguez, Walter Rodriguez coming in for a centre midfield alongside Botta, but right on the left. On the right wing, Marcello Sereni, a youngster. Uh, he is an under under nineteen. Again, we needed him in to get the rules um, sorted out. Melandri and Garazzo, the front two, are doing all right. So that is the team. And the bench looks like this. Cosicelli, Bregliano, Lamorte, Benassi, Saporetti, Miglietta, Vignali, Antonio and Musetti. Antonio and uh, Benassi have come asking for more first team football. I've told them to wait because there's loads of games left. There's loads of time. Uh, so yeah, it is going to be a struggle to please everyone because of these rules. Some people have have to play... Uh, Instead of other people. So, um, it was going to be difficult, I think. But we should win this match fairly easily. We're at home. We're against uh, Korogesi, who are where? They are sixth. So, they're not doing too badly themselves. But, as I say, we are unbeaten so far. So, we should be doing fairly well here. Here we go. Let's see what we're doing here. There's actually a highlight fairly early on here. Aguayi to uh, Walter Rodriguez to Guazzo. Here's Sereni, back to Rodriguez, passing very well here, Sereni, pass it right, Aguayi, Sereni, and the cross, oh, it, that was a lucky deflection off one of their players, and it came to Barai, and he scored, third goal of the season for him, been doing very well, so that was a very lucky deflection then, we'll see it again, so here you go, Sereni, the ball was in, uh, Papini cleared it, but it bounced off his own player, it came to Barai, and he blazed a Fantastic effort in the right on the far right, and it hit the post and it went in. Good start. Papayani with the ball, and uh, oh, they scored. Okay, that came out of nowhere. So you see, there's a the throw in, came to a Chivileri, and then there it was. Uh, nice volley actually by uh, Fioretti, who got the goal. Keeper didn't even move, and it's 1 1. First goal we conceded in a while, actually. And they're on the attack here again here. We've had more of the ball, but they've had a couple of shots on target. Here's Kamara to uh, Bakker, or ba Bakker, I think. Not quite sure. He's going the wrong way, is Kamara. And they've caught, they've been uh, caught out here. And Barai gets the ball in. Is he going to score? He goes for the shot himself. A bit selfish. But, um, yeah, he caught the uh, Kurogisi player's nap in there. Oh, okay. They had a shot there. Just as it came off the um, instruction screen, there was a shot. It was saved by Stojanovic. But we're looking a bit nervy at the moment. We've, we had a one-goal lead, but that's the only shot on target we've had so far. 28 minutes in. We've got the ball again here. Barai to Rodriguez. Finds Botta. And here's Sereni. We haven't really seen him in action much, but it's a good ball into the box there. And Barai with a great header. That's his second goal of the game. That's Palmer's second goal of the game. 2-1. I'm talking about Sereni, this is the first time he's played, I think, in the league. And he, it was a fantastic cross. And Barai, oh, it wasn't a header, it was a left-footed volley. I mean, I'm amazed at none of those defenders. He had three defenders around him, when no, none of them tried to head the ball. But it's 2-1 now. And that's a throw into Mato Mantovani. Here's Kamara. To Chivileri. Here's Kamara again. Going with the triangles here. And that's a great through ball to Fioretti, who had time to shoot and he does shoot and he scores and it's 2-2 and there's been a lot of goals at the moment that's 2-2 and uh, I think uh, Stojanovic there should have done better look at this I mean, the first touch was awful the, the ball actually ended up behind him but he had time to sort of back peg and score and the defenders are, le are letting us down a bit here um, I'm not happy with your performance out there let's say that uh, defenders I'm disappointed Okay, um, I can't really take Koliakko off because he's our under 18 player, so we can't really take him off. I mean, I don't like these rules. They're very annoying. Um, I'm not going to make any subs, though, because we're scoring goals. We're just conceding too many. I, I just need to sort out that defence. Okay, this is what I've done. I've changed Koliakko to a limited defender, and I've uh, turned Lucarelli into a stopper. Hopefully, that'll sort things out. Let's see. Second half underway. Okay, it's kind of stopped. The game has sort of stopped a bit. Um, I've dropped the defence a bit deeper. I'm going to put Missetti on for Guazzo as a poacher. No, didn't want to do that. There we go. Let's have two advanced forwards. Um, 
I need to do something about the, that defense. Right, here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to drop Botta back a bit deeper on Kolyakko's side. But still 2 2 at the moment. Kovic is also having a bit more of the ball now, which is a bit worrying. Right, I need to make my last change here because uh, Rodriguez has just got injured. There we go. Okay, all three changes have now been made. It's 2 2, which isn't too bad because we're still unbeaten and we're still top. But we really shouldn't have conceded two goals, and I think our defence are very much to blame for those. Uh, chance for a winner here, though. Sereni to Aguayi finds a cross. Malandri gets on the end of it, and uh, he loses the ball to Kamara, though. That's going to be full time. It's 2 2. A bit disappointing that we couldn't win that, because uh, I think we deserve two going forwards. But Rai did really well. Strikers didn't really do a lot. Goatza's personality is jovial. It's alright being jovial, but if you're not scoring goals, that's no good. He has been scoring goals, he's been doing well, but that wasn't a good one today. Uh, I'm going to say unlucky, but I'm going to say that I was disappointed with the defensive efforts. Luca really looks demotivated. He's the captain of this team, meant to be our best player, and he didn't do very well out there. Kolyakko's only 16, so that's forgivable. But, yeah, the defending wasn't up to scratch in that game. It's a 2-2 draw, though. We scored two goals, which is too bad, but we conceded two at the same time. I think that's a, that's a true statement. Palmer had their midfield to thank on a breezy afternoon at Inio Tardini as they showed their strikers how to finish. Uh, and we've got another injury. Great. Walter Rodriguez, hamstring injury. He's out for six weeks. So that's just adding to our injury problems at the moment. Zekia, whatever his name was, was back. But that's now Rodriguez, Zekin. Rodriguez, Rivas, Carapi and Molinaro all injured. And they're all attacking midfielders as well, pretty much, apart from Rodriguez. So that's annoying. We're losing options. So that's going to do it for this video. In the next episode, again, we'll go about a month ahead. Uh, and our next game is going to be against San Marino. So that'll be an interesting one. We're facing a whole country. Uh, two home games, San Marino. And then we'll face Forley, who I think are just behind us on the league. They are. They're only two points behind us. Uh, San Marino are down in seventh. So next episode, uh, we are facing a whole nation. We're facing San Marino, and then we'll face Forley. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you for watching, guys. The same for uh, the same for six likes on this video. Let's go for it. Um, you got six in the first episode. Uh, I've literally only just uploaded the, the um, previous episode, uh, so I'm not sure how that will do. We'll see. But let's go for six likes on this video. That would be great. Uh, and then leave any comments you want to make down there. And if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. That's going to do it for this video. A win and a draw. It's better than last time, but. As I said, we shouldn't have drawn that game. Our defending was pretty bad. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.